I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. We are joined by Sarah Stanhope, one-time world champion, PDGA number 30,397. How are you doing today, Sarah? I'm doing great now. <laughs> Absolutely. Great now. So congratulations, first and foremost, a world championship title. How did you arrive at this point? Uh, well, I learned disc golf in South Carolina, where we play in the woods a lot, and fortunately there were a lot of wooded courses here, and that's where I got my lead and was able to hold on. You weren't leading right off the bat, so you came out, you got a few strokes, and that was on the gold or silver course? Or? Uh, yeah, I got five stroke lead on the silver course, and that's just a lot like my home courses. Um, and then I was able to pick up just a couple more here in the red, again, wooded course, and again, held on the blue and final nine. Who were you fighting off here in the uh, for the oh, title? Dez. Dez all the way. She was right there. Um, yeah, she was playing great. In fact, everyone played played solid uh, most of the time. I, again, played a little <laughs> more solid maybe in the woods. But. Okay. So you felt at home, you were really comfortable yeah. in the woods, which is a good thing. I don't... Uh, I like playing in the woods, so when you get to go to a course, whether it's at the Worlds or your local C tier, you know, when you're playing at, or you feel like you're playing at home, there's no yeah. problem taking that advantage. That's great. You're primarily a forehand thrower, is that correct? That's correct. Tell, where does that come from? I was going to say, tell everybody where that comes from or why that is. is I mean, that's just how I learned. Uh, when I first picked up the game, my roommate, you know, she threw a sidearm, so, so did I. And, <laughs> I uh, really threw that for about three years before I even tried the backhand. I could never quite get that snap down, <laughs> so why even bother? But uh, How far do you throw a forehand drive? A good forehand drive throw, 300 feet. You know, okay. So it's not a distance throw, really. I can't really hold distance with these girls, but I'm working on the backhand. I can get maybe 340 on a good backhand drive. But again, it's not quite as accurate as them. So, so you're not just you're not quite as comfortable. And does that go for wooded holes as well? When you're playing something tight or narrow, do you I will, are you still yeah, primarily I will forehand? Rarely throw backhand in the woods. Wow. Yeah. Forehands for accuracy and uh, backhands for distance in the open. So tell everybody here what your favorite course is and why that was. Uh, well, gold and silver. Um, I did the best on silver, but gold is definitely the best course out here. It's very challenging, um, it's, it's diverse, it's not all wooded, there are some big open holes there too. Including a 1,120 footer, followed up by a 750 footer, so yeah, there's yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah, so there's 1,800 <laughs> feet, and I know that's uh, bigger than some small courses for their entire 18 yeah. holes or 9 hole courses, so, so gold was where it was at for you, and the silver, you like those two. Uh, how long have you been playing, and how did you get at this point in terms of your practice regimen, things like that? Uh, well, I started playing in 2004, summer 2004. My roommate and I just started, we picked it up. We play ball golf a lot, but that's kind of expensive, especially <laughs> in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, so we picked up disc golf. Uh, then I moved back to uh, the west end of the state to the Clemson area. I went to Clemson twice. Nice. Uh, I got my master's and there's just a good disc golf scene up there and I started to learn things like a wraith is different than a dragon. And, uh, <laughs> Minor details. Know, exactly. <laughs> and you know the guys up there really helped my game and uh, I you know, found a double scene and I, just, I loved it. What, uh, do you have any sponsors, anyone else you want to thank or talk about that's been helping you guys out? Innova, Strange Disc Sports Network, excellent. Strange, yep. Uh, yeah, the team champion for Innova, they're a you know, great sponsor really help uh, promoting the sport and then Strange Disc Sports is my friend Chris Sam uh, out of South Carolina, local guy and he plays for a bunch of my tournaments each year so awesome, good support. Awesome, Chris is a great guy. So we're, we're waiting right now as the men's finals is going on actually as we're doing this. It's a really tight battle there. Anything that maybe you're going to project or guess ahead of time on the men's finals, it's really tight over there with McCabe and Felberg as well as Ulaberry and Josh Anthon. Any you got any projections here? Have you been watching well, the we action? Well, we saw Ulaberry hit that huge putt. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you can call 120 feet a putt. <laughs> that's an approach shot for me. That's for sure. Yeah, that's the approach shot here too. Um, but Mc, I don't know. McCabe I like had three strokes, three or four strokes going into it. Felberry strong player too. Um, yeah, Eric's super nice guy. Everybody out there is a great player. I, so she's too chicken to call it, I'm which too is fair enough. To call it. I can't do it. That's, that's too much fair. Pressure. Nope, that's totally fair. Uh, they're about halfway through, and I'm sure we're going to be catching up with uh, the champion a little bit later. So for now, I can't say it enough. Congratulations. It's the first new women's winner besides Dez, Desenvale. Juliano, or Val. 
So it's the first new women's champion we've had in almost 10 years or over 10 years. So that's a pretty big <laughs> deal. They they went on with their big strings, and this may be uh, the start of a string for you to come as well. So congratulations. I hope so. Thank All you right, very much. Thank you so much, Sarah. Congratulations again. Appreciate it. I'm the it. Disc Golf Guy, and we'll catch up with another champion next. Thanks.